Salk scientists have uncovered new insight into the size of neural connections or synapses. This animation based on experimental and quantitative data shows what happens at a single synapse in a computational reconstruction of part of a rat's brain. Green shows a neuron's axon, which carries a signal away from the neuron to activate a second neuron. Yellow shows the second neuron's dendrite, which receives information. Many proteins, as well as calcium, are involved in sending a signal from one neuron to another. Calcium ions, shown by moving yellow particles, are essential for cell signaling. As an axon builds its electrical voltage, the voltage-gated calcium channels open and calcium builds up in the axon. The large amount of calcium causes chemicals called neurotransmitters to be released from the axon. Translucent orbs at the bottom of the green axon contain neurotransmitters and release them in bursts of green particles to the second neuron. About 1,500 to 2,000 molecules are released from each vesicle. These neurotransmitters diffuse to the dendrite, binding and activating receptor proteins on the second neuron. Neurotransmitters also leak out into the surrounding area and are reabsorbed by red transporter proteins on the blue astrocytes. In the dendrite, green and blue show neurotransmitter receptor proteins, which control the amount of electrical signaling and the amount of calcium coming into the second neuron. Calcium in the dendrite goes on to bind to other signaling proteins, shown in magenta orbs and blue cubes. If the signal is strong enough, it will be successfully transmitted into the second neuron's dendrite. This starts a domino effect where more receptors are letting in even more calcium. If the timing and coordination of the signaling between the axon and dendrite is just right, this could lead to strengthening of the synaptic connection, making successful communication more likely in the future. This is a process that happens at each synapse. The new Salk work suggests that within 2 to 20 minutes, synapses can get stronger or weaker depending on their signal. This process is thought to be the basis for learning and memory in the brain. The new Salk research also solves a long-standing question as to how the brain is so energy efficient and could help engineers build computers that are powerful but also conserve energy. Learn more at salk.edu.